uh, electrolysis of aqueous salt is a little bit more involved because now you also have water that is trying to compete. Water likes to be electrolyzed and give you hydrogen and also oxygen. So for hydrogen, we look at the zero voltage. For oxygen, we are going to look at 1.23 voltage. One other thing you should realize as you go above this chart, you become stronger reducing agent. You are more electropositive, much more reactive cation or metal. As you go down the chart, you become a stronger oxidant or oxidizing agent and you're also more electronegative. Now I'll just uh, do some examples and hopefully we can see what happens. So let's say we have Na2SO4 uh, aqueous and we put it in a cell and put electricity through it. Now sodium and hydrogen are going to compete. Sodium will require 2.71 voltage. On the other hand, hydrogen has zero voltage. So in this case, what you are going to produce is hydrogen, gas, and sulfate also never gets a chance to come. Instead of that, you have water which is going to produce oxygen. So in this case, you have oxygen and hydrogen being produced uh, simply because of how they are positioned on the chart and how much voltage is required. Now let's just have another case. Let's just put copper sulfate aqueous through electricity and see what happens. In this case, if you look at copper, copper is 2 plus and copper will say I'm a, a less electropositive and I rather will produce 0.34 if you let me go through the discharge. So selectively copper comes out and hydrogen has no chance. So I'm going to cross out hydrogen. And what happens as your last thing, then again, sulfate nitrates, they never get a chance to come out. So in this case is oxygen. Now let's just look at some selective discharge and looking at your last names. Let's say if I have potassium iodide, Ki, and it's aqueous, you put electricity. Now potassium will say you require 2.92 voltage. Hydrogen will say zero voltage. So Potassium doesn't come out, hydrogen comes out in one electrode. Potassium is still sitting in the aqueous solution. What about iodine? Now, if you look at iodine versus uh, H2O, iodine will require less voltage. It's 0.54 versus 1.23. So iodine, in this case, comes out as a solid, and oxygen does not get a chance to come out selectively. Let's look at another salt. Let's just have, for example, uh, aluminum bromide aqueous. Now, if you look at aluminum versus hydrogen, you see aluminum requires 1.66 volt to come out. Hydrogen is zero, so hydrogen comes out. Aluminum doesn't have a chance, stays floating in the solution. What about bromine versus oxygen? If you look at bromine, you will see bromine requires 1.9 versus 1.23. So less voltage required, so bromine comes out as liquid and oxygen does not get a chance. So one factor that determines what comes out is where you are positioned on the electropotential series. You have to be careful with that. In case of chlorine, uh, chlorine is rather you have to be careful with concentration as well. So if I have sodium chloride uh, aqueous, if it's dilute, sodium is easy to compare with hydrogen. Sodium will say you need 2.71 so we don't have that much voltage. Uh, hydrogen selectively comes up. Not that we don't have that much voltage, it's easier to produce hydrogen. So sodium does not have a chance. If chlorine uh, chloride is rather dilute, if you look at the numbers, numbers are really close. 1.36 for chlorine or chloride versus 1.23. Chlorine doesn't come out in, in dilute solutions. You will produce oxygen instead. Now, if you change the solution into concentrated, uh, usually known as brine in industrial electrolysis. So if this is concentrated, uh, 
hydrogen still comes out in one electrode but this time you will also produce chlorine because of its concentration 1.36 is very close to 1.23 so in this case you will produce chlorine so for concentration you have to be careful in terms of chlorides uh, entities that never come out are last names such as nitrate sulfate you always produce oxygen instead so electrolysis of aqueous salts dependent on where you are positioned on electro potential chart and your concentration